it's just a great feeling that when I came here, other Filipino people wanted to help me too because that was one of my biggest fears coming into a big city like LA. Like, no one would help me whatsoever. The good thing is that people of color will help people of color, so that's good. Gonna be the kind of person who creates opportunities for others and who is a, hopefully a source of inspiration for others, Filipino and not. It's hard walking into a place being a queer, colored person going into a predominantly white space. I definitely think that there is an identity that you bring as a Filipino because I don't know if it's something that I plan in my performance, it's just something that you are. I spent the first two decades of my life growing up in Quezon City and I was given this very fortunate chance to fly to LA. I moved here in 2017 to take my master's degree in documentary film. That's when I really like focused and wanted to submit my documentary films to places. I realized that there's so many outrageous, interesting, real people out there and that's what drew me to nonfiction. The first ever personal documentary that I did was called In This Family. The documentary is about me coming out as a teenage boy back in 2007 growing up in Manila. Your teacher told us that you're gay. Is it true? My teacher outed me to my parents and they would yell at me every single day. You know, my parents are very conservative, or were very conservative Catholic Filipinos. And so having a gay son to them was like red flag, that, that is so bad. And that was in 2007. I thought, as a little teenager, what if I record my parents yelling at me? And so I did that. I had kept these audio recordings of my parents yelling at me in a hard drive in my drawer for years. And then 2017 came and I was like, it's been 10 years since I came out to my parents. I think it's time to unearth these recordings and try to make something interesting out of them. And that's how In This Family, my first personal documentary came to be. It's just a great feeling that when I came here, other Filipino people wanted to help me too because that was one of my biggest fears coming into a big city like LA. Like, no one would help me whatsoever. The harsh reality is that it's hard walking into a place being a queer, colored person going into a predominantly white space. Like, it's, it's hard. It's not easy. And trying to build a career with that is extra difficult too. I found support with other documentary filmmakers who are of color also. For the longest time, I've had this resentment of being Filipino because why did I have to grow up in such a community that is so close-minded? Why did I have to grow up in such a community that has like these rigid Catholic values? When I go into a Filipino event, I always have this like guard or like this big thing in my head that's just thinking, are these people talking behind my back because I am a queer Filipino? Are they talking behind my back because I don't exercise the most explicit Catholic traditions that they um, exercise? There's always that fear. Today, I am thankful that there are these other people who are slowly starting to bend that and break that. And I'm very happy that we are heading towards this direction. As the years went by, I noticed my parents watching more queer TV shows, more films, and being exposed to these different things. And it's been a 10-year journey, and I've seen them become, turn into these open, more educated, more loving parents, and just accepting of the kind of son that they have. My next documentary film is called I'm OK and Neither Are You. It recently won a grant from BAFTA and Global Student Accommodation. It was an inaugural grant, so I am proud to be the first ever winner of that grant. I'm OK and Neither Are You is a short documentary about my personal journey with mental health and how my mental health has affected my boyfriend's mental health. As a Filipino person, I feel the need to tell these kinds of stories because if we don't openly talk about these kinds of things, if we don't openly talk about 
going to therapy and taking care of your mental health. It's gonna turn into gossip. As a Filipino person, to casually talk about my mental health with other people, with other Filipino people, is something that I really value because we need to have these more casual conversations about topics like this. And that is what I'm okay neither you aims to achieve. But I would love to do more documentary um, series in the future. I would love to do anything nonfiction related, whether that's a documentary, docu-series, reality TV, nonfiction web series. I just love meeting new people and telling people's real life stories.